Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Thorgrim Grudge Bear in S4 Grim Number 3. And we've finally pushed down to Clan Moore's homeland, so we're bringing the fight to them because we got a grudge to settle with them. Although, who don't we have a grudge with? But we have no idea what's waiting for us over here, but there's only one way to find out. And uh, yeah, that's actually a pretty, pretty big garrison, so we're just gonna fight this manually. Luckily, it is mostly clan rats, which makes sense for clan moors, but it should be a pretty straightforward fight. So, let's just move everything back for now. And we are just gonna... Big old line, it's fine. We're gonna send most of them to the gate, but we're also gonna just punch down the walls with this. The goblobbers... Oh, actually, um, just in case menace from below... So far, they haven't done anything against our artillery with Menace from Below, but I just don't want to start chancing that now. So, we'll leave one behind. And, I mean, I don't think we're gonna miss them too much, although, yeah, you don't have a rune, so that is good. Like so, we are gonna move you back a little bit now. We don't need to do that, we're moving up with these, so never mind. You are gonna be group four, though. You are... you can be group three. And all of you, you are gonna be, like, the first, first people through the gate. So, let's, uh, well that's an interesting thing to do. Um, actually, let's, uh, go and punch that down, punch that down, and punch that down. No, no. Punch that down. There we go. And send you up there. Send you on the walls. Probably just gonna start bombarding you and, uh, yeah, start bombarding that. Like so. You can just, uh, move up over here. Although we're probably gonna- oh, actually, they're not manning the tower, so we're not gonna need to avoid it. Although, that's an annoying tower. Um, I think we are gonna- actually, let's just grab the cannons. You can start- Blasting that, please. Because the uh, grunt throwers have some really good targets to shoot at. So that's gonna be fine. Because even though... Even though if we don't do too much damage to them, we're still gonna do a little bit of damage to the walls just... By the virtue of hitting the wall with artillery. So that's... <laughs> the cannon is so good at bringing that down. Ah, so proud yeah. But our miner seems to be taking lots of damage, although... <laughs> I think their warlock engineer just uh, hit their own stuff there. Oh, and that started shooting. Cannons, you know what to do. Bring down the tower. We can't have it there. But let's uh, start shooting stuff that we can... Oh, some good hits though. Let's start shooting some stuff that we can definitely hit. Like those guys. That was a good one. And yeah, we'll just we'll just start punching through these. We'll put one of the long bears by each of these. You you can just be in reserve for now. Oh, ow! That that hurts. That hurts a lot. Oh, you're gonna stand over there. But we brought that down at least. Can we? We can probably shoot that down, right? Yeah, yeah. Just counter artillery, the play claw ca catapults. God damn hiccups. Yeah, that's that's excellent. Oh shit. Okay, we are gonna put you right there because I don't want to lose you. And they haven't lost like a lot of models. Well, they have lost almost half, but considering their health, that is kind of good right now. And you can stop moving. Because you just need to shoot something, anything that you can hit. Oh, ouch. But we are dealing some damage to the play claw, so that is very nice. That's going slowly, that's going slowly. Man, this is all going very slowly. And the cannons are busy with these, but I think that's going to be pretty important. So it's going to get to take as long as it needs, so we're just going to... Ow. Okay. Spread out. You need to be a thinner line, because you're taking lots of damage. Same with you. Just... You're not gonna be good against uh, artillery 
if you stand in a block. And we're almost through the walls at least, so that is very nice. Oh, sh crap! Should absolutely start exploding some rats. Like these guys right there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. And Blood Fountain! <laughs> oh yeah, that eliminated that clan rat. Beautiful. Oh, and the Thunderers actually get to shoot something. Excellent. And it looks like they're fleeing the walls, which is fine, because we're almost through it, but this takes forever. I feel like other siege battles have been way quicker, but that might just be me imagining things. But we are through. We can start killing stuff over there. Let's start bombarding over there. Actually... Just shoot at whatever you can right now. There you go. Yes. If you can shoot it, then you're gonna shoot it. That's that's gonna be their... Their... Um, what would you call it? Their philosophy right now. So that's gonna be fine. And this is so close to... To open. How are we doing with this? 30 more seconds before we can explode some more rats. That is absolutely doable. So let's just... Ooh, you can just stand there and start throwing in your shit. You can go and... St oh, you can't go and stand there. You can try and go and stand there and just throw your shit. While you go in and kill that. And 30 seconds? No. Not yet. But it's getting so close. And... Oh, so close. But there are gonna be some really good targets here. Okay, there is no way I'm gonna do this any other place than this. Uh, <laughs> it's just a wave of exploding rats. Oh, that is gorgeous. So, if you never played exploding kittens, that's how I imagine it, but... But rats instead. Ooh, and that was a good volley of, of blasting charges. Very nice. Can you go up on that little high ground and start throwing in? That would be excellent. Oh, and you're so close to being able to just throw your shit. So if you could just uh, throw it. Oh, throw right over there. That. Yeah, there you go. That's why we bring blasting charges. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh man, you ruined it. Okay, see if you can pull back. Did you fall into the wall? Oh man, they are... Uh, that's not great. Because they are um, unbreakable, so they're going to be stuck in there. Hopefully we can kill them. Maybe with some... Uh, some shooting stuff. But we'll see. Oh, we killed the play claw. Beautiful. Um, you can shoot at whatever you want then. Like so. Um, okay, you've thrown your load. Let's uh, bring you in there. Let's see if you can shoot through there. And let's see if you can shoot through the gate. Because there's some bunched up shit over there. Oh, don't throw at that. Oh, you stupid idiot. Throw over there. There you go. Very nice. Now throw some more, you idiots. Yeah, I don't think... Well, um... Yeah, that's gonna be a really good Wrath and Ruin if you can just mosey on through that. And it looks like you can. So this is gonna explode some rats. There we go. Yeah, that's, that <laughs> was pretty efficient. Send you in over there. Um, you. Try to throw some shit up there. We've got a lot of shooting going on, which is excellent. And there's a lot of routing going on. Can you start bombarding over there just to get rid of them? Oh, don't, don't be like that. 
Yeah, there's four left of that unit, and uh, they're all over there. Let's see if we can kill these guys in the wall. Yeah, it seems to have done it. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll do it. Excellent. Yeah, that's gonna break. And that's gonna break. Excellent. So that's our Milosis. Right? Right? There's nothing left? There's no plague monks anywhere? Please tell me there's no plague monks anywhere. Like hiding. Because these guys are definitely broken, right? Okay, I think there might be plague monks somewhere. God dang it. Okay, spread out. Find them. We need to... We need to find these plague monks. Because everything is routing. I mean, you're not a full-on route, but I don't think you can come back. But it might be that those guys because they haven't fully routed. Because yeah, there's so much, so much bonuses in there to give them leadership. So I guess I could just cut to when we win this because I think that might be it. Okay, there actually was one more Plague Monk stuck in the wall, so that's why we didn't win right away. But, there we go. So, the worst part of it was that uh, it was so far into the wall that none of my ranged units wanted to shoot it, and I'd sent the Rune Lord almost all the way to the other side of the uh, settlement, so I had to wait for him to run back, but this was fine. We barely took an... well, okay, we took a little bit of losses, but... Nothing kept, nothing too bad, and we're just gonna occupy this, and we should get mm, pretty all right amount of replenishment. But that should be one of the harder ones, and now we're very close to Kar Karak Asgal, which is one of our like big grudges. So that's gonna be done soon, and you cannot make it there, which is very annoying. So let's just go and put you right there. We'll encamp you, you'll get some nice replenishment, and we'll be able to take this next turn. We're just gonna send you over there to scout a little bit. And we have this guy who's gonna go and relieve that... Oh, come on! <laughs> no! I didn't go and sit close enough. Oh, god, that's annoying. Okay, I guess instead... We are gonna march all the way over to World's Edge Archway. We're gonna let them take this. And uh, we're just gonna go and kill them afterwards. And they do have some Black Orcs, which is a little bit scary, but... I think Imric is... Yeah, Imric is at war with them, so... I think we mostly just need to kill this. That's gonna weaken them a lot, and... Uh, no, wait, that was... That was some other guy. No, you're not at war with Imric. Dang it. Okay, but it should be alright. We are gonna get some more uh, garrison here real soon, so we'll be fine. And we should probably upgrade that. And we're quite a bit away to be able to upgrade that, but that's fine. We're gonna get some... Uh, it's gonna give us a little bit of scaven corruption, but meh. We, we can uh, just remove that pretty effectively because... We remove 16 Skaven Corruption each, each turn, so we're pretty alright. Although, we're probably gonna switch from that to the Growth one. And we have a bunch of leveling. So, let's finish that. Now we can finally start getting uh, the red line again. It is time. You're probably... Oh, wait, we haven't finished that. We're gonna grab... I do like Rune of Negation. Although this isn't with the armor sundering um, Everguard, so actually let's give them Rune of Breaking. That's actually pretty good. Although we are... We aren't fighting a lot of armored stuff. Maybe some Storm Vermin, but maybe Negation would have been better. Either way, we're just gonna pass. Yeah... These guys are getting pretty annoying, but honestly don't care too much about the Border Princess area. Just kind of want to kill Warzag for now. So we're gonna leave them be. 
and see what they do. We'll intervene if we really have to, but for now, we're fine. Oh, an Ungrim got his lands back. Good for you. And uh, no. Actually, if they stay there for another turn, and we take this, we could go and just kill this with Thorgrim. With just one turn, one turn detour. So, let's just auto-resolve that. Oh, God, that hurts. <laughs> Luckily, we have grabbed a lot of replenishment, so... God damn, <laughs> miners. They just won't let us do things. But, we could... Ah, uh, we don't need that. So, and we can't really get allied recruitment because uh, I noticed they took Myrmidons. This is where we had our outpost. So I guess we have to get a new one in Akendorf. Which is really annoying, but that's alright. Well, we are still gonna get some good replenishment there. Oh, and we get a garrison here. Maybe that's why we took so much damage. A... Maybe should have paid attention. Was it low casualties? I think it was. Pretty sure it was. So, ah, eh, whatever. And that is definitely Skaven. I think maybe once these guys have recruited a full stack, I think we can just... Just confederate them. Yeah, I think even if they get a full stack... We're still going to be able to, so I think we're just going to leave them be while they recruit to save some money. And yeah, we'll uh, confederate them in a bit. Oof, there's the stuff. And this, oh, it is a land battle, thankfully. But damn, that is a lot of stuff. It is mostly just infantry. Well, it's almost only infantry, so I guess this is... Gonna be fine because they they're gonna have to work hard to get through our longbeards, but still. That's a thick army. Uh is it no. It's not not quick at least. So it is a little bit weird considering the size of their garrison, but them not having the garrison building. That's a thought. So I don't know what's going on with that, but that's all right. Um, you're gonna... This is... Yeah, that's impassable, so let's put you over there. Like, just have you as the... As a... A choke guard over there. And... Yeah. Actually, we probably don't need to. We'll put you back there instead. Although, we are going to move up a little bit because our cannons aren't going to have a very good... Or we just set up... Never mind, we'll set up back here. Because we need line of sight on our cannons and our thunders and stuff. And this just, this just isn't very good. So, you are still going to be kind of a flank guy. We'll put you up like so. Spread him. Spr okay. You bunch up a little bit because you're gonna we're gonna drag you out in a sec like so and we'll pull you out over there we might move everything to the side as well just just to just make this a little bit safer to the side but eh, I don't know if that's necessary like there and characters should probably spread them out a little bit because they're all they're all gonna be great. Miners, you go over there. Oh, actually, you're actually gonna be really good there, I think. So, yeah, let's just move these all a step, like so. And you might actually be yeah, you're gonna be kind of serve kind of a flank guard, like so. We'll drag you out for some more coverage and they are not advancing which I kind of expected so we're just gonna take this moment to move up a little bit the position and all that fun stuff we do have some play claws but we're gonna deal with that with our cannons like we have 
Let's see, there's the edge. Let's just keep moving up a little bit. Yeah, that's that's pretty safe. And I think we might... No, not quite in range, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to move up a little bit more because they're not really advancing. Hmm. I wish I had my gyro bomber. I would have made this way simpler. Send you up right there. Okay, now we're in range of stuff, so now we are gonna start shooting things. Those are slingers. Not sure I want to shoot slingers though. Keep moving up. Keep moving. Don't want to shoot slingers. That's a bad target. Let's shoot into those instead because I can't. Ooh. Hmm. How can we shoot these? Guess we'll have to put you over there ish. Because now they are. No, they're not shooting us. I thought that's our cat uh, catapult, so they're not quite in range. So I think we'll be in range with our cannons right there-ish. Because they are going to have to move forward. And I, I want to avoid those forests. And that's going to be kind of a perfect, perfect straight line to their catapults. That's perfect. Okay, so we're going to spend this combat just shooting at play cloud catapults. And they're gonna be fine with it, but they're gonna do some good some good work with that at least And you're gonna have to spread out a little bit because they are gonna move around here These guys are moving around as well though And we're gonna have to Spread you out a little bit because it looks like the plague. Oh, they're shooting at the corlers But you might get hit accidentally because of the spread out oh, man. They're accurate. Not a fan of that. They're doing a lot of damage to us, but we have killed a model, which is good so far. And yeah, you got so much armor. We're just gonna throw you right in there. You're gonna blob up and be just a perfect little killing machine. You have um, a mortis engine. Although you're not gonna need it with that. Go into the plague monks instead. You're fine. We're gonna throw you your shit in there. You're gonna keep spreading out because the miners got this side. Actually, this guy got this side. Never mind. We're doing great. Killed two models. Go in there and help. And you start shooting over there, start shooting over there. And okay, they're just standing there. I don't know what's up with the Skaven and them just not doing anything sometimes, but I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be fine with it for now. And yeah, there's there's a damn Doom Flayer just ma doing donuts on our stuff over there. Not a fan. Let's get you into the Skaven slaves. And yeah, this side is. A little bit overwhelmed, but we're gonna be all right. Send you in over there to kill the plague monks. The Lord is doing amazing work. Let's just send you into the slingers. Oh, oh, oh! I almost forgot. I have, I have dwarf magic. So you gonna gonna do your thing? Hmm? Gonna do your thing? Gonna explode? That's gonna do some help with our front line problem. Excellent. You are gonna go over there and help because the Thane is having a little bit of problem actually. Never mind. I don't know why I cast that in in the slider, so you stay and fight these. Oh! Because it's a goddamn warlord over there. Ow! Holy crap! You start shooting over there. You spread out. You start shooting over there, and you're absolutely fine. We're gonna send you into this beautiful blob. You're gonna be excellent. Send you in there to help, send you over there to help. 
You're shooting as you should. Very good. We're okay. You're gonna have to hold like a champion. But we are. We are killing this guy, which is good. We almost have a rune of wrath and ruin for this. That mess. Uh, not sure if you're shooting or not. Let's just put you over there to start uh, try and start shooting. You are more disengineering all of this shit, which is beautiful. Love it. Absolutely beautiful. We are gonna just demolish this huge blob of Skaven. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I just want to see some rats explode. I love watching exploding rats. Oh, did you? Did you get stuck on something? Stop being stuck on stuff. And explode these rats like you should. Please explode these rats. I just want to see exploding rats. Come on. Are you? Okay, you're stuck on... Um... Okay, you need to hurry the... F oh, what happened to my cannons? Okay, something's been shooting my cannons, and I'm not a fan. But I don't think there's anything we could have done about that. Okay, now he should be able to do it. <laughs> Here we go. Excellent. These guys are gonna have to be alright. We're gonna pop that. You need to go and help with that. You should be shooting stuff. I think you dealt with the chieftain. That's a master assassin. He's throwing damn stars at us, which isn't helping. Send you in there and help out with the plague monks, but there because they're a problem. Yeah, you're just keep running. You're fine. But we destroyed the cannons, so that is excellent. Let's see if we can just start uh, lobbing uh, some grudge rocks in there. And while you are, we're gonna send you back there instead. So you can go and help with that instead. You're doing fine. You might need to go up on this ridge a little bit because you, I think you have a bad angle. The Thane is doing fine. And you need to go and fight that even though you're gonna take a lot of damage. We are gonna need some <laughs> regiment of renown after this. We do have two or three that we are gonna need to to, uh, to recruit but oh deal with the chieftain please you're doing great pop that see if you can chase down the master assassin you're probably gonna take a lot of damage but these guys are doing fine they are they have been absolute champs love it and just Keep killing. We're all doing great. I'm proud of my little staunchies. My staunchy little thick boys. But not sure um, he is going to be necessary here anymore. He, they're, they're all doing great. Oh, there's the play cloud catapults. <laughs> I think we are going to... No, do it on him. Because that's going to help kill the Master Assassin. Because this, this is dealing with itself. This is fine. These are just clan rats. They are fine. Could you go down and shoot him if you can? You're hey, they killed all of the plague monks. Very nice. Miners did get beaten, but damn, they held out like champions. Start shooting over there. And yeah, that's that's a fine place to shoot. Are you... No, these are plague monks. Yeah, this is fine. We do need to kill these plague monks, though, because they are not going to give up. But everything else is beautiful. So we took a lot of damage there, but... We killed one of their big armies, and this was a big settle settlement garrison, so that was excellent. So that went pretty well. Um, our uh, runesmith 
<laughs> it's absolutely magical in m multiple ways. But damn, that's a lot of kills. Our artillery did great, got to just sit and shoot. Miners, wonderful. But our longbeards, just so good at grinding down clan rats. I love them. And I'm so glad I got these banner runes. But I'm very curious to see how much damage that rune of spite did. Because it's not very good at killing models, but it drained so many units for so long. So this guy got almost 1,000 uh, kills and did with by doing 60,000 damage. But very close. Well, um, okay, three-fourths of that damage, but only a third of the kills. So that rune did probably a lo uh, most of that damage. So... Very good with his, with his work there. But now we are in desperate need of some replenishment. We are going to be able to get some grumbling guards. Could get some slayers, but I think for now, we are going to just merge those guys. Because those are our most damaged guys. And we're just going to grab the grumbling guard. Can we recruit anything else here? No, absolutely not. But that finished our uh, grudge against Clan Moors. So we only have one major grudge left, and that's Karak Asgal. And that is a lot of stuff they got. So, are you even recruiting anything? Or is this the same turn? This might be the same turn. What kind of uh, recruitment you got here? Well, you got some good stuff, but you don't have the... Don't have the... Mm, barracks. So, it will just be a lot of thunders in this army. Which isn't great for... For sieges. Well, let's just upgrade that for now. And, yeah. This is all in the same turn, but I think... We haven't moved you. No. And... How have you seriously not... Okay. Um, I'll cast the rune. Foolish, stupid. They've sieged all of this down, but they haven't really done anything else. I don't know what, what's going on. Uh, how's ours? That's a 50% ambush chance. Maybe that's good enough. Or we just move as far as we can. How f I mean, we can almost get there with two turns of, of encamp stance. So I think we're just going to go in our encamp stance just to get a bunch of metal defense bonus. Just in case they feel like attacking. If not, we're just going to go and kill him next turn. And I think that's going to be excellent. Oh, and we need to level these guys. So, let's stand your ground. That's going to be very nice. And I guess we should probably get this, but I think we're just going to start getting the combat stuff now. We could just go to Inspirational Leader, but that is so many levels and I... Frankly, I'm not sure he's going to get that before the end of this series, so... Yeah, I think we're just going to skip that for now. Let's just finish off Rune of Negation, why not? Ah, that's fine. And you are going to go with Rune Maker, because you are tanky enough at it as it is. Let's just give you oh, offense. So, we can probably make it there next turn if we want to. I'm gonna assume they don't have as much there, but although they probably have about the same garrison, but maybe not an entire army. Onward. Can we? All right, we already got that. Do we have any like talismans that increases? Uh... Oh, that's all combat stuff. No replenishment. Don't think so. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Oh, Carl Franz wants trade. Finally. It's about damn time you want to trade with me. Um, how much you'll pay for it? <laughs> there we go. That's what you get. Oh, hello. They did attack, so I'm very glad I went into an encamp stance. And we can honestly just auto-resolve this. We've fought so many of these stacks. I think it's fine to just auto-resolve. We've been fighting so much lately. Just give me that auto-resolve. That's money and oath gold. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And... Um... Okay. The manlings of Sigma are come pleading to us once again. They have witnessed our devastating flame weapons and begged that we share the secrets of their of this technology, as we once did with black powder. Well, I mean, there's no downside to just giving them fire. Or we can be a stingy, grumpy little asshole and just uh, withhold it from them, but let's just let's just take the diplomatic relations. No point not to. And are you just there to slow me down? Because I think it's working. Because we're going to go and kill him. Well, I ain't following, following over there. But you only have some garbage. And... Uh, right, this is a garrison thing. Yeah, so we're, we're fine. Ignore it. We're just going to move over there so we can start going to Ekrand. And you don't have... No, you don't have any... Any agent actions, which is very annoying. Come on, Felix. Uh, learn to be sneaky, you bastard. Oh, wait. Who got Anvil of Doom? Oh, it must have been this guy. Uh, over... Where the hell is... Over here. Yeah, he did. Beautiful. Love it. So, let's go and kill these... Uh, these Game of Slave Slingers. Okay, let the garrison die. Don't care. Because they shouldn't be able to do much damage to us. They killed 141, but I think it's most of that was those guys. So, ooh, that is a lot of Oath Gold. <laughs> Mostly because that's just a lot of of Skaven Slaves. So, yeah, let's just pop that on you guys. And grab that 145 Oath Gold. And can we actually forge anything cool? What kind of weapons do we have down here? Well, uh, we're <laughs> not fighting elves. Uh, we can discourage an heroic killing blow with some... Oh, wait, we can't do that. That's a lot of melee defense, but... Although, a lot of melee defense would be pretty nice. Slayer's Dragon Axe. Um, any kind of armor. Can get Star Metal Plate, which isn't bad. That's a lot of defense and debuffing the enemy. But it only enables if leadership is higher than 50% of base, which, I mean, let's be honest here, we are dwarves, it is gonna be that. So, let's grab this, yeah. Let's just spend our damn oath gold. We got star metal plate. I, everything's gotta be envious of that, and uh, how are you doing with this? Uh, you're fine. So... We're gonna give it to this guy because I feel like he's earned it. He did earn this fair and square as well because he just fought for that. But, oh, we got a sword of strike. So let's just give it him that. And you got glittering scales, which is also pretty good. You're tanky enough. Let's give it to you. Just want to pimp these guys a little bit because these guys are already really good. And you already have brass cleaver, which is really good. We have some good stuff. So, sort of strife. You don't have a weapon. So, let's give it to you. That's some good stats. Because they are fighting a lot of Skaven characters. So, pimping these out is going to be very nice. And we have a bunch of banners that we haven't equipped on anyone. Like, we can't grab these, but stand. Oh, we don't need standard of discipline, do we? No, that's pretty bad, actually. I mean, it's not bad, but our <laughs> our front line doesn't even run when they're like down to six units. So I don't think we need need that. I thought it was 
some damage stuff. But it's not. Although, this guy needs Rune of Battle. I guess you can have a standard of discipline. And you need Rune of Burning. And also, Grudge Keeper to get some leadership against Greenskins. There we go. And I guess Dwarf Bride. That's fine. Yeah. And wait, you have leveled as well. Let's give you Rune Hearth and blah blah blah. Foe Seeker. There we go. Um, are we resting you? No, there's no time for rest. We got Spite Peak to take. And that is about the same garrison. And we can't really order us all that, so we're gonna fight it, but should be a pretty quick fight. Or at least a pretty easy fight. We're gonna try to set this up pretty quick though, so let's set up over here, get a good angle on them. Uh, move these back, move these up there, move you up there, and miners, miners, miners. You up there, characters up front, and actually, uh, let's put these to the side. Long beards. Move you aside a little bit more. Like so, and we should probably drag these out longer. Because they are so tanky, and I don't want them to die to just artillery. Like so. There we go, there we go, and miners, miners, miners. There we go. Fairly quick. And these guys will need some reinforce or replenishment, but they're gonna be fine. We stopped reaching them because they moved away, like the cowards they are. And I know we don't have many cannons anymore, but you are gonna try and kill that anyway and can you reach no no you can't look like you can't you could but you couldn't so let's just fast forward now you can reach so sit there and shoot hopefully you can destroy some of them but the catapults are gonna be the star here and they they can reach why aren't they shooting shoot shoot and honestly, we're just gonna move up. No, here they come. Because if they were just gonna sit and sit and shoot, then uh, they might have us there because their play claws are so damn strong. I mean, our grudge, grudge throwers are great, but I think their play claws might be better because they're so good. But let's uh, go out and meet them, kind of. Go up and meet them, kind of. Let's send you in there, see if they want to come and blob and hang out. Go and throw... Oh, never mind. I was going to say go and throw your load, but you're doing that already. Send you in, send you in. You can start move. Oh, nope. You cannot start moving up because you got people to kill over there. And yeah, this, this is the good stuff. Let's go and throw a rune right, right there. Because we can handle this just fine. We're gonna pop that and pop uh, that. We're gonna pop that for some big buffs and... Bye rats. Well, they took it like champs, but they are <laughs> dead. And go finish off the storm vermin. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, what? Oh, okay. There's long birds over there. I was wondering why they were, like, weirdly set up, but let's just bombard over there. Okay, some things happened there, but I'm not too worried. What? We're just gonna see if we can kill that. Go and try and shoot that. Shoot that, go and help. Keep throwing your shit. Actually, let's line you up over there and you are just gonna start moving over there 
we can actually start shooting over there because these guys are gone. So we just need to break that mostly. And these guys, I guess, but they are just gutter runners and we have some thunders on them. Although, not a lot of them. Because they are... They're very hurt. <laughs> but a couple of volleys of uh, both thunders and uh, grudge throwers is going to be very deadly. But let's move up a little bit because I think we're shooting our long beards. And uh, can you... Nope. 30 seconds, but... I think everything is kind of dying, except for the artillery right now, but I think that's not going to be a problem soon. Like there. Good. Quick and easy. And we only took 69 losses, so nice. But our stuff is pretty tattered. This is uh, when I wish... The border princes could have just held on to their shit, because I would love some uh, some allied recruitment now and just exchange some of these stuff for basically Empire Cab or just some uh, some uh, oh what you call it the uh, grenade launchers. Oh, we already finished that. Very nice. We got that. We got that. Blah 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 blah. Lots of stuff. Beautiful. All the stuff. So, these guys are done here. And hopefully we can underway back. And I was just standing a little bit too much in the center. So, let's see what happens there. Oh, hello. There's Queek. Uh, but Karak 8 Peak is so sturdy. And these guys are almost done with that. So, if they go and attack Karak 8 Peaks. You know what? We're going to confederate them now. Because I think we can. Yeah, we're good. So, let's confederate. There we go. That's going to finish the death pass, which is um, pretty good. I like it. We could get a bunch of slayers. We have a lot of artillery, so... Right now, we just need a lot of front line, and that's gonna have to be miners right now. But I think we're gonna fill this up with slayers as well. But it's just gonna be a pretty temporary thing. Um, I want to see how far you can move. Yeah, you can just get there. So if they start, start sieging, we're gonna go and kill them. Even though we only have miners, but with the help of Karakate Peaks, that's gonna be good enough oh and we're still in this turn man we have so much to do every turn and so many battles every turn i forget what what we're doing or what we've done and uh, get some wood maker oh and we're gonna need some of this i think we're gonna grab the one that lowers the plague oh we already have that excellent i want to get rid of this stupid plague Hello. Um, can't, can't quite auto resolve this, but uh, we are gonna have to fight it. But we're gonna do that next episode because it's gonna be very straightforward. They have some very deadly stuff like death globes and play claws and sensor bears and stuff, but there's so few. We're gonna be fine. We just need to like do it. So we're going to end the, this episode here. Uh, next episode, we're just going to kill this real quick. And uh, keep killing Clan Morris. And maybe we're Zag. We'll uh, see how far we can get in that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.